You are listening to the Pro Audio series, presented by Life Vantage, featuring Master Pro Tens, Dr. Skip and Jill Campbell. This audio presentation includes income and lifestyle claims, including, but not limited to, income earned, potential income of distributors, purchases made from income, such as homes, cars, vacations, etc. A complete earnings claim statement, which includes a summary of income earned by the distributors, can be found at LifeVantage.com. Good morning, LifeVantage! Who's excited? Is there only a dozen people in this room? Who's excited? Who's ready to take it to the next level? All right, Skip and I are so excited to be here. We have been jumping out of our skin, waiting for a convention, and people have been asking us, oh my gosh, what's the new product? You know what? I ain't risking my check to tell anyone. You guys all know now, but he wasn't even risking our check to tell anyone. But you know what, is that exciting? The new product? I would tell people, the new product, that's not even the most exciting of the announcements. How about the incentive trip? Who's going? Who's going on the trip with us? All right. I'm going to tell you, that is a bucket list thing for us. And it's not like Life Vantage just takes you and you're out there floating. They treat you like royalty. It's going to be so fun. You get one-on-one -on -one attention with Elite and Master Pro 10s. It's so fun. It is so fun in a different setting. I mean, how nice to be able to be vacationing and picking brains at the same time, right? All right. How about the new mission statement from Ryan, the guy with the cool hair and the boots? Did you guys see him and see the mission statement? Is that amazing or what? We are going in the right direction. Darren, Justin, and the rest of the crew have this ship sailing in the right direction. We are all so lucky, each and every one of you, to be here now, to be in the right place at the right time. And I know that a lot of you sacrificed to get here to convention. You don't need to raise your hand. I know that a lot of you did. A lot of you are here for your first time. A lot of you are brand new distributors. Maybe you took off work and you might not have a job when you get back. I've had people tell me that. Maybe you um, used your last dime to get here. I know there's I know personally people that did that. None of you will regret being here. What we're here to teach you today are golden nuggets to help you explode to the next level, okay? Is that fair? You guys excited? All right. So we're not telling you what to do your first 90 days. Mine was a blur. I don't even remember what we did the first 90 days except for sign up 16 people in 14 days. We did do that. Um, but. It's what to do the next 90 days. You're all excited. That feeling that you feel right now, I don't want you to forget it when you go home and go back to the regular old um, life that you have. I want each and every one of you, I want them to have to add an extra day because you're all walking the stage. Not just one rank, but two ranks higher than what you are right now. So. A challenge that I want each of you to write down is, you know what rank you are now. What rank do you want to be at the, in four months in Nashville? Write it down. If you're a three and you say four, no, no, no. Five. It's not in three months, you guys. It's in four. You've got an extra month, all right? So add another number on there because you can do it. Here's something that you all need. Belief with a capital B. Not a little belief, not, oh, I'm doing this network marketing thing. I am a professional network marketer. I have this amazing opportunity, and I'm going to share it with you. Whether you say yes or no, that's up to you. Don't be sad and cry if somebody says no. So what? Next. One of my um, best childhood friends is here at this convention. And I talked to her six years ago. We've been friends since we were seven years old. And I told her about this amazing opportunity. You know what she said to me? No. Okay. I didn't cry. Didn't stop us from getting to Pro 10. 
we moved on. And she came to visit about a year ago, and she said, oh my gosh, I gotta do what you're doing. I looked at her, I said, no. No, I didn't. <laughs> Obviously, we signed her up, but um, she's on fire. It wasn't the right time, so don't burn bridges with people that tell you no. Don't, because it just might not be the right time, okay? They might, they might need to see you succeed. They might need to have different circumstances in their, in their lives. Yeah, it bugs us all when I don't have the time, I don't have the money. Okay, what are you doing to change that, right? But so what? So what? And something else that you need to all know, no matter where your past is or where you came from, does not matter. I want all of you to wipe your slate clean right now, unless you're a master pro ten in here. And there probably isn't any because they're all teaching. But wipe your slate clean. You're starting over. You're starting over when you leave this convention. It's a clean slate. So what? We all make mistakes, right? Doctor over here talked about NRF2, all these things I can't even pronounce. And he also would talk about dynamic compression. I still don't know what that is. I just know that my check's cash. That's all that matters, right? He's smart. He's a smart dude. But when we went to our leaders, Tyler and Marcel, that signed us up, and we said, what are we doing wrong? We're not growing fast enough. And Tyler goes, I don't know what all those big words, doctor words mean. Why don't you try leading with the opportunity? And we did. And guess what? We rank advanced. We went from pro, we, we made it to pro seven. 23 days later, pro eight. And then, I don't even know how long later, we got to nine, then 10. And we made pro 10 in December, December 31st, 2011, at 11.39 p.m. How do I know that? Come on, the last day of the month, you're all hitting that button and refreshing every 30 seconds, right? And when we hit, and we were at a million, we were balanced. I just started bawling my head off because we were told December's the hardest month in network marketing. You can't rank advanced in December. I don't like to be told I can't. Ask my mom. We did. You know why? You know what we did? You know that number you wrote down, what you want to be next time? Next um, Elite Academy in Nashville? I'm excited to go to Nashville, too. Um, that number you wrote down, when you get home, use a blue dry erase marker for Life Vantage Blue. And write it across your bathroom mirror. Write it on your shower door if it's clear. Anywhere that you can write it. I will be an Elite Pro 7 or whatever number you pick by January 31st, 2016. We did that for Pro 10. We will be Master Pro 10s. We had a big bathroom mirror by December 31st, 2011. And you know what? That's the first thing you see in the morning when you're brushing your teeth the last thing you see at night before you go to bed, and that belief in here, and that burning desire in here, we did it. So you have to believe in yourself with a capital B. People ask us all the time, what would you do different if you could do something? You want to know? Because there is something we would do different. We would have believed much bigger, much sooner. And that's a promise we would have. If you don't have belief in yourself, get that belief. Your leaders believe in you, we believe in you. I know that everyone in this room, in some way, that sacrificed to be here, has, okay, who wants to be an elite? Raise your hand. Who wants to be a Master Pro 10? Raise your hand. Okay, wait a minute. More hands went up for Master Pro 10 than elite. You gotta get to elite first, but, Believe in yourselves, because we do. We believe in you, each and every one of you. And we know that you can do it. We know that you can do it. Do you think the Pro 10s want to run away? No. You know what? We're all here. Not a single Pro 10 has gone away. Because we all love and care about you guys. And once, you know, you're all on our team, right? Because you know that big bonus thing, that wheel? Yeah, you're all on our team. We care about you. 
we can't run away and just go play with our money. We can sometimes, but we're still here for you because we love and care about you guys, and we want to see you succeed. And we want to see you have the time freedom and financial freedom that we have. I just noticed that one of my grandbabies is back there, and it's going to make me cry. But that is what life is about for us, being able to do what we want with who we want, and who we want is our beautiful grandbabies. It's just amazing. So remember, the past doesn't matter no matter where you came from, no matter if you lived in poverty or if you live in poverty now. You can have this if you believe in yourself, each and every one of you. It doesn't matter where you started. It matters where you end up. All right? You can change that, you guys. Are you attracting or deflecting people when, you go, when you're in an airport or in a store or just in everyday life? Don't deflect them. Be so happy and so positive with your posture, and I don't mean the chiropractic posture, I mean your posture, the way you talk to people, that people are going to come up to you and say, oh my gosh, what do you do? I want to do what you do. You seem so happy. People do that to us. I'm not kidding. It's fun. It is so fun to tell people what we do because our belief is so huge. Attract people, you guys. Be positive. Yes, life is going to happen. It happens to all of us. My dad died two days before Christmas. It was really sad for me. But you want to know a good thing about that happening? My whole family got to see him, all my kids, all my grandkids. They all got to say goodbye to him. And it wasn't our Christmas with our, they all had to go to the in-laws. I don't like sharing, but I have to. So they all, it was their Christmas with everyone else, so I got to devote, we got to devote our time to my dad. And then, you know what, this Christmas is going to be a hard one for me. First one without, my, well, second one, I guess, without my dad. So, you know what we're doing? We're taking our family on a cruise, so I don't even have to think about it. I don't say that to brag. I say that to let you all know that you can have that kind of freedom. We're going to shut off our phones for a week. When we did that in chiropractic and got back, and I loved chiropractic. I loved watching him fix people and then walk out feeling good. But you know what? When we shut our phones off for a week, that's all I thought about during our office hours. Now we shut our phone off. We have bigger checks when we get back. It's so cool. That residuality thing is cool, you guys. Cool. This is a relationship business. Think about this. Just think about it. Are you treating your people good? Treat your people good. Be good to everyone around you. Be good to your people. They matter. All right? I'm going to bring up the hottest guy I know and quit telling him you like his haircut. I don't like it. I cut it, but I don't like it. I like the long Harley look, but I got them all clean cut and presentable, and decent looking. So I'm going to bring up my best friend. Come on up, honey. Love you. Um, we're going to go over because my wife talked longer than she was supposed to. I'm just to I'm totally teasing. I'm totally teasing. I just like to point out the fact that this is a personal growth business. In the beginning, I couldn't get her to talk, and now I can't get her to shut up. And <clears throat> Because of the growth, she used to be like Justin Rose's wife when I would say, hey, everybody, look at my wife in the back, and she'd stand up and wave, and then I'd know it was couch night for me. And, and now she doesn't mind getting up in front of people and talking, and she actually likes it and takes the microphone from me, so, so that's cool. Um, oh, now she doesn't want to. That's okay. So you can all look at her when she walks back, I guess. Um, <clears throat> hey, listen, I want to start with this really quick. I don't know how many of you guys were paying attention, and this is actually good news. Yesterday was a little scary. Um, but Mexico, how about, how's life managed, by the way? Are we good? Uh, is Darren, are we good? Are we happy with all, everything right now? <clears throat> okay. I, uh, th yesterday, uh, Mexico um, had a hurricane. You guys, a lot of you probably know this. It was, pro it was the largest hurricane ever. <clears throat> There's nothing after that. It was the largest hurricane ever. Biggest ever recorded. It's heading smack dab towards Puerto Vallarta area, right? Luckily, not a, lot, not a lot of damage was done. 
And so they did a really good job of prepping for that. But I was listening to the Weather Channel, and I was thinking about our friends down in Mexico, our Life Vantage distributors down there, and I was praying for them, and, and, and then I, this guy started talking, and he started explaining what happened for that hurricane to become such a big hurricane. He said that two years ago, this hurricane could not have happened because the water temperatures were cooler than they have been in years and years and years. But to this, right now, the temperatures were warmer than average for this time of year. And they said that um, <clears throat> the humidity was pretty high, and that was also contributing. And, and then they said that there were no steering winds aloft. And, and, and they said that the jet stream made it perfect condition for this perfect storm. And literally, all of these components had to come together for Mexico to have this perfect storm. And I thought then uh, uh, instantly about Life Vantage. I thought about the perfect storm and how all of these things have to come together. And you have to have, like Gordon was saying last night, products. Do we have some pretty good products? Are you guys? The products, you guys, are awesome. They're awesome. I'm so excited about the products, I can't even tell you. We got the right guys at corporate now running the show. We've got the right distributors. Something's about to happen. We've got a perfect storm brewing. That's what we have, okay? And so we're going to go through this magical thing, I think, really soon. You heard a lot of us talk about it. You can feel it. People outside the company are starting to say it. This wave is coming. This perfect storm is coming. And I'm going to tell you guys something that should both scare you and motivate you at the same time. Being here is not enough. It's just not enough. You have to be swimming your blank off in front of this wave if you want this wave to pick you up and carry you to shore. Being here alone won't do it. It'll be a front row seat. You'll be able to tell everybody you were there but missed it. You'll be able to tell everybody I saw it but didn't do anything, but it's not going to take you to shore. Being here is not enough. You have to work. There's a cool thing about network marketing. You don't have to pay $400,000 to get started in a small business in network marketing. You only have to pay $1,000 to get started in a small business in network marketing. You have to make up the difference with elbow grease and sweat. You have to be, you're going to have some equity in this if it's going to pay off. It's either going to be cash or sweat equity. Okay? Now, I'm glad it's not, you're not risking $400,000 to do network marketing. You got to make up for it with sweat. How much? I don't know. How much do you want to get out of this? My wife and I put 300 grand into a chiropractic business that never paid us more than about 30 grand a month. We put 1,000 into this, and we make more than three times that now. You guess what the difference is? Work. We worked our butts off. We worked our guts out. Okay? We worked that much to make up the difference. Does that make sense? You guys are going to have to do that, and it's going to start with the most important thing you can do right now, and the, one of the things I love about what my wife said is so true, the past doesn't equal the future. You guys can do something right now, in an instant, this very second, that will change the course of your life. It's up to you whether you do it. And do you know what that is? You need to make a freaking decision. That's what you need to do. Some of you are here, and I talked to Eric Worre before the thing, and I said, man, one of the things I love about you is this. <clears throat> there are people in our crowd sitting there maybe in this room right now who kind of think this is a little cool. Hope maybe that it will work. They have some faith like it's a freaking religion. And they don't understand that it's a business and, more importantly, and what Eric does so well, validates it as a legitimate career path. In fact, like Eric said, I've been telling you guys for a long time, jobs, J-O-B-B, suck. There is no good. Who in here has a cool, uh, uh, that loves their job? It sucks. I don't care how cool you think your job is, it sucks. If I paid you $600 million tomorrow, are you going to go to work? Probably not. Now, there are important jobs. I'm not saying there's not, man. We need nurses, we need firemen, we need paramedics. There are important jobs. But if you had a million dollars in the bank, are you going to go to your job that you love? I can't tell you how many times people said to me, I love my job. Really? You're a pro 10, you're going to go to work? No. You know what I love? Cruising. I love going on cruises, and I want to paint a picture for you really quick about this upcoming incentive trip. If you guys could sit here and would make a decision. You guys think, man, it'd be nice if I could win that incentive trip. You don't understand. That has nothing to do with it. It has to, what has to, is, are you sitting there right now going, I'm going on that damn cruise, period. I want to paint a picture. How would you guys like to be flown to freaking Spain on the company? And get off this elevator in a foreign country and go down the escalator after getting off your plane. And there's somebody standing there with a sign that says your name. 
and they're going to put you in a limousine or a bus or a shuttle, and they're going to take you to an airport, and then the next day they're going to pick you up and board you onto a cruise ship with all the Pro 10s, all the other incentive winners, and Darren and all those cats. How would you guys like to set sail over there on a, the biggest cruise ship in the world with us? Would you guys like to do that? Oh, wait. It gets better. It gets better. It gets better. It gets better. You guys don't want to miss this. How would you like to get off that cruise ship in, I don't know, how about Rome and walk the streets and shop with Jill? Would you guys like to do that? You guys understand that you can do that if you just sit here and make a decision today that I'm going to be there? That's all it takes. There's no luck involved. You have to make a decision. I'm not missing the trip. You have to make a decision. I'm going to be a pro 10. I'm going to catch this. It's, that's all it is. You make a decision in your brain and the universe will get out of your way. I absolutely guarantee it. It will get out of your way. Things will fall into place so that you can catch this wave. But you have to to make a decision. I want to help you guys make a good decision. I'm going to teach you guys how to make a decision right now that's going to change the course of your life and its business. You can do this. This is not rocket surgery, okay? You can do this, okay? <clears throat> you guys need to know two things right now. Where you are right now and where you're going. Those are the two most important things you need to know right now. Where you are right now and where you're going. Let me explain, okay? I want you guys to go later into a hotel room, and I want you to look in the mirror, and I want you to lay yourself bare. I want you to ask yourself and be serious. You're not telling me. You're telling yourself, self, am I a good inviter right now? Am I a good enroller right now? Am I a good closer right now? Am I a good follower-upper? right now. It sounds weird, but the word follower is a word, and the word upper is a word, and I just put them together. Follower upper, right now. And be honest with yourself, because I have a, I have a, a clue for you. I have a, a suggestion for you. If you guys decided tomorrow where you are now and where you want to be, where you want to be is you'd like to be a wide receiver in the NFL, and you'd like to catch a touchdown pass against the Kansas City Chiefs and dunk over the goalpost. You can't do that. You just can't. Nobody in this room, most everybody in this room could score a touchdown on the Chiefs, but not very many people, hey, they're not very good, what can I say? But most of you, none of you, other than, is John Madsen in the room? Okay, he's probably the only one that could do this, jump and dunk over the goalpost. Not a lot of people can do that. You can't do that. But if you sit here and decide I'm going on the cruise, if you make the decision in your head that I'm going to become a master distributor, you can do that. Every one of you. You know why? Here's why. Because you just have to get better at inviting. You just have to get better. You don't have to get lucky. It has nothing to do with it. You don't need faith. You just have to make the decision, I'm going to get better at inviting. I'm going to get better at closing. I'm going to get better at picking up the telephone. I'm going to get better at presenting. There are seven skill sets. Eric went over them yesterday. We've been saying, teaching them for three, four, five years. You have to get better. It's a skill. You can develop it, but you've got to get better. So you have to be able to... Look in the mirror and say, this is where I am right now, and that's where I'd like to be. I need to get better at this. So who in this room right now is a pretty good inviter? Raise your hand. Okay, if you're not a good inviter, find those that are good inviters and go ask them how they invite. Who's a pretty good closer? Who doesn't have a problem closing? Raise your hand. Not very many. You guys need to get better at that then. I'll teach you. I'm a great closer. I'll teach you how I close in a minute, okay? You just have to get better. You have to make a decision that you have to get better. And so here's what you're going to have to do. I want you guys, if I gave you guys a homework assignment in this room, who would do it? Raise your hand. If it meant you could get to Pro 10, who would do it? So half of you? So here's what I want you to do. I want you guys to go get a quarter. Can everybody do that? Can anybody find a quarter? Not right now, not right now, but after. Now, I'm serious. I really want you to do this. I want you to get a quarter, and I want you to go down, and I want you to go get change for that quarter, okay? Try to get two dimes and a nickel. If you get less than that, come back to me and we have to talk about some other things. <clears throat> I want you to get two dimes and a nickel. Man, I don't give a flip what you do with a nickel. Throw it in a fountain, okay? But I want you to put those two dimes in your pocket because if you guys are going to make a decision to get better, if you're going to make a decision to get from here to there, you're going to have to change your pair of dimes, okay? Wait, wait, just go with me. It's corny. I don't care. You know what? No one's ever accused me of being sane. You guys are going to go into your room, and you're going to make a decision to become a pro-10. You're going to have to change your paradigm. 
You're going to have to change your paradigm from if and when and maybe and that'd be awesome to I am going to. You have to do that. You can't, you can't just erase your old paradigm. You can't do that. Y your beliefs were given to you before you were born. They're handed down from generation to generation to generation. You, you guys, these beliefs, they're not necessarily your beliefs. They were just handed to you. People tell you that's how you believe. You, over time, get numb to the idea that you can change the way you believe. Okay? You can. What you have to do is you have to change your paradigm. You have to rewrite your beliefs. And how do you do that? You don't do that three times a year at convention and lead academies. You don't do it at, elite, at premier school. You have to do it every single solitary day. So I want you to get an idea of where you are going. And this idea needs to be crystal freaking clear in your head. I don't know what it is for you. I know what it is for me. I'm going to be, the, I'm the world's greatest grandfather. And if I'm not yet, I will be before I die. And I'm going to tell you why, okay? <clears throat> because I'm there. I'm there all the time. I don't miss nothing. And do you know why? Because I made the decision I wasn't going to be. I was never going to miss anything. My, my grandson, Cannon's birthday is today. My son just brought him, him and his whole family. We made the decision. That's what meant to, mattered to us. You guys make a decision. What matters to you? How do you want your life to be? Where are you going? And I want you to see it, and I want you to hear it, and smell it, and taste it, and touch it. I want you to close your eyes and know exactly what it's going to look like for you when you're a pro-10. Now, you don't have to know exactly what the house is going to look like. We just knew we were going to have a badass house. We don't have to know what kind of car you were going to drive. I just knew mine was going to be fast as hell. I just did. When I saw it, though, I knew in an instant. You need to know like that where you're going. Okay? And then I want you to keep that paradigm with you everywhere you go. Because the most important word in the English language, in my opinion, remember. I want you to remember how you felt sitting in this room this weekend. I want you to remember the commitment you made to your family and to yourself on where you were going. I want you to remember and act upon these things every day. Every single day, I want you to take those two stupid dimes out of this pants pocket and put it in that pants pocket. Then I want you to put it in your pajama pocket and sleep with them. Okay? And if, and if you don't sleep in clothes, I don't even want to think about where you put the dimes. Okay? <laughs> But I want those dimes to be with you everywhere as a symbol of where you're going. So that you remember every day, I'm not a nurse, I'm a professional network marketer. When you make that decision that you're a professional network marketer, you're bulletproof. You guys understand? You can't even hurt my feelings right now. What is anybody going to say to me? Network marketing's not real. Okay. Pixie dust isn't real. Network marketing is real. Okay? What are you, that doesn't pay? Yeah, okay. What are you going to say? You can become bulletproof when you own that fact. You can become bulletproof when you know where you're going and what you are. If you want to be a pro 10, you are no longer a construction worker. You are no longer a banker or an insurance agent. You are a freaking professional network marketer that is just paying the bills with that crappy, stupid little cubicle job that you freaking hate and you know you do. No matter how much you try to convince yourself that the coffee tastes good at the office or whatever, you hate that job. You would not go if they weren't paying you. Right now, most of the people in this world are coin operated. I want you guys, I'm going to go one step farther than Eric because that's what I do. I like to see the line and then go, okay? You guys ever go to the circus and you see that little chimpanzee act where they give him a cookie and he does a couple somersaults and pops a balloon and then throws a, a football? And then he runs back here and he gets another cookie? What's the difference? What's the difference between that, that exact thing and every coin-operated job in this world? Is there a difference? Yeah, most people don't throw poop on other people. That's the only difference. That is the only difference. Your friends, most of them are coin-operated. Okay? Get that through your head. If you don't make a decision like this, 
you're also going to end up being coin operated. I got two pictures. I wanted to show these. They told us we weren't going to have projectors because of logistics here. I, I took two pictures at a Walmart recently. Okay. The combined age of the two Walmart workers that were checking us out was 215. If I was being nice, by the way. I mean, like if they were to say to me, hey, how, how old do you think I am? I'd go, a buck ten. Just because I know I'm on the low side and I don't want to hurt this guy's feelings, right? I know he's really like 125. This was not this guy's job. This is not this guy's dream when he was working 25, 30 years ago. But, hey, he probably said no to network marketing, so screw him. He can work at Walmart. Your friends are on that same path. They're coin operated. So I'm going to give you a quick invite and a quick, and a quick close. Quick invite, quick close. I'm going to turn the rest of the time over to my wife. Fair? Okay. Quick invite. Hey. Are you coin operated? I love that. I just learned it. Are you coin operated? What do you think your friends are going to say when you say that? First of all, they're going to know, they're going to say, what do, you, what, do you, what do you mean? What do you think they're going to say when you explain to them, are you coin operated? They're either going to tell you the truth and say, yeah, I am. Or they're going to say no. If they say no, they're probably lying or in another network marketing company. Okay. If they say, yeah, just ask them, do you want to stay coin operated or would you like to be, you know, an entrepreneur? I don't know why we can't say that. Why is that so hard? Why do we have to establish a relationship with people for nine months before we can say, are you coin operated? That's the easy thing to say, okay? You don't have, it doesn't take 10 years to establish a relationship with somebody to care enough about whether they're going to be coin operated for the rest of their life. And that's the moral of the story now. You've got to care about other people. If you want to be rich, I want you to do something. For the next 90 days, and I'm going to close with my clothes. For the next 90 days, I want you to find 20 people as fast as you can. I don't care if you're a, who's a pro 7 in this room. Raise your hand if you're a pro 7. You want to be a pro 10? Okay, do this. Go find 20 people in the next 90 days. Do it as fast as you can. And then spend the next 90 days just loving on them and caring on them and helping them make rank. My wife and I used to do this thing called fishing. It just basically meant on the 15th of every month, we would call everybody who was close to making rank, and we'd call them up and say, hey, what can we do to help you make rank? You do that enough times. You care on enough people. You have enough other people make rank. And guess what's going to happen to you? You cannot manage this. You cannot organize this. This has to come from here. You have to care about those people. Call them and say, what can I do to help you make rank? Do that for the next 90 days. Rank advance a couple of people and find out what happens to your rank. Okay? Just make the commitment. Now, at the end of that 90 days, if you're not a pro 10, do it again. Okay? I know this sounds harsh, harsh, but it's worth it. It's worth it. Here's my close. You guys ready? You got, first of all, who's going to do the dimes? How easy is that? A third of you. Well, that's about how many of you guys are going to make Pro 10. So how many of you are going to do the 90-day the day challenge? Go find 20 people as fast as you can. Good. More of you. So that you didn't like the dime idea as much as you like that idea. It's okay. Whatever. Here's my close, and I'm going to give it back to my wife. Are you ready? This is high pressure. You guys are so scared to do a close. This is high pressure. You ready for this? You in or out? Are you in or out? Are you going to do this? Or are you going to miss it? Now, I want you to know in my head, I'm trying to move them from first base to second base, second base to third base, third base home, just like that dates in high school, okay? And you've got to know, you're either going to get slapped in the face or you're going to get to go to second base. It's just the way it is, okay? Now, now, if they tell you, I'm out, if they slap you in the face, I'm out. I'm on first base. I saw the presentation. I'm not interested. I'm out. Say this. Can I keep you in the loop? Nobody is going to say, no, I want to be out of the loop. So then you put them in the email file, and every month you tell them, hey, we got a new peer review, we got an, uh, a new video, we got a new product, we got an I made rank, whatever, your job still sucks, whatever you want to say to them every single month. Until they come around. If they, if, they say, if they say, I'm in, then you get them in. If they say, hey, I need to know more about the comp plan, then you take them to second base. And you get them on the phone with somebody who can explain the comp plan or show, tell them where the products are. You take them to the next meeting. And then you say this very tough sentence, are you in or out? If they're out, they're in the file of people in the loop. If they're in, you get them enrolled. If they need more information, you get them a third base. Does this make sense? Nobody's left out there. I hear this all the time. Oh, I've got a bunch of people who just can't commit. Well, that's your fault. Are you in or out right now? If you're not in, what do we need? It's just that simple, you guys. Don't make it harder than that, all right? Okay, I love you. Here's my wife. All right. Who's happy with their check size right now?
No hands? All right. What would you pay? You can sit down. <laughs> what would you pay someone in your group to do what you did the last 30 days? Would you give them your life vantage check? Just think about it. You don't need to answer. Here's your challenge, okay? If you don't like the size of your check and you want it bigger, get to work. You are getting paid what you're doing, all right? So here's what you do. Here's your challenge because you're going to rank advance, right? And walk the stage in Nashville. Not one rank, but two. So remember the feeling. Remember all the golden nuggets that you got from all the people that spoke from stage and in the breakouts. Take those golden nuggets, put them to work, run like your hair is on fire. I'm not kidding. Work your guts out, and it will happen, all right? So that's our challenge to you. Skip and I love and appreciate all of you. We love Life Vantage. Oh, my gosh, it's coming. So start swimming hard. Love you guys.